This video will cover the topic, sum, difference, and product of two functions. Suppose we are given two functions that are defined for all real numbers x. f of x equals 4x squared and g of x equals x plus 5. The outputs of these functions, f of x and g of x, are real numbers and we can add them, subtract them, or even multiply them together. How would we add them? For example, if we were asked to find the sum of g plus f of x, we would start by rewriting the expression as g of x plus f of x. Since the input for our function is x, we add the two functions together leaving the x in each function. So g of x plus f of x equals x plus 5 plus 4x squared, which can be rewritten as 4x squared plus x plus 5. Okay, I think I get it, but how would we subtract them? To find the difference of the two functions, we would follow the same procedure as before, except we would subtract f of x from g of x instead. Since our input is still x, we leave x in the function. So g of x minus f of x equals x plus 5 minus 4x squared, which can be rewritten as negative 4x squared plus x plus 5. So to find the product of these two functions, we would follow the same procedure, but multiply the functions together this time? Exactly. We would rewrite g times f of x as g of x times f of x. We then multiply the functions together, leaving in x once again. Using the distributive property, we get 4x cubed plus 20x squared. How do we find the sum of two functions when our input is not x? We can still follow the same procedure. However, wherever there is an x in our sum, we insert the value of our input. For example, if we take the same two functions, f of x equals 4x squared and g of x equals x plus 5, but want to add them together with our input being negative 1 instead of x, we would start by writing g plus f of negative 1 as g of negative 1 plus f of negative 1. This once again equals x plus 5 plus 4x squared, but instead of our input being x, this time our input is negative 1. So now, we insert our input value of negative 1 wherever there is an x in the function. After simplifying, we see that our final answer is 8. So to find the sum, difference, or product of two functions, we first rewrite the function separately, perform the given operation, substitute the input value in place of every x, and then simplify the expression. You got it. 